So we've been reading a lot of nonfiction and we've been reading a lot about animals. Not just animals and not only nonfiction, but a lot of those. So have you ever stopped to think about what different animals look like, what they have in common, what's different? Did you ever notice all the beautiful colors that animals can come in? All shapes, all sizes, all colors. But have you ever wondered how many are just black and white? A lot. So today we're going to read a really fun book. It is nonfiction, but it does not have photographs. It has illustrations and it has riddles. Do you know what a riddle is? A riddle is kind of like giving someone clues to a puzzle and then you have to figure it out. So that's what we are going to do. Are you ready? I think you're going to enjoy this. This book is called Animals Black and White. Written and illustrated by Phyllis Limbacher Tildes. Hmm. Are you ready? Sorry for the gloomy day again. It looks so dark. I tried to turn on some lamps for us, but it looks like nighttime in here. Oh. Animals black and white. I gallop gracefully on the grassy plains of Africa. The lion is my worst enemy. What am I? Do you think you know? A zebra. I love to graze on sweet grasses. I travel with a large herd for protection from predators. Look at those beautiful illustrations. My large fin and flippers make me look like a huge fish as I search through the water. But I'm a mammal just like you. What am I? An orca. I am a large dolphin, but I'm also called a killer whale. I roam the ocean, hunting with up to 50 of my friends. Could you imagine seeing 50 of those? I live in the misty mountains, far, far to the east. I love to chew bamboo. What am I? A giant panda. I like to nap in trees in the hidden mountain forests of central China. I am very rare. Now rare that means you don't see it a lot. It's hard to find. So if we were talking about a rare animal, we would say that that animal is endangered. Remember what that means. I swim on the glassy surface of a lake. I dive into the deep, dark water for fish. I have a sad, lonely call. What am I? It's a hard one. A loon. I'm heavy and ride low in the water. When I want to fly, I need a large lake to get a running start. See how my baby chicks like to ride on my back. So cute. Look at that loon. Do you know what a loon is? A loon is called an aquatic bird and that's a water bird. So similar to a duck. I 
I wander through the woods at night. My wide striped tail sweeps the ground. When I meet trouble, I lift my tail like a warning lad. What am I? Oh, I bet you know this one. A skunk. I'm usually quite shy, but if I need to, I can stop my enemies with a smelly, stinging spray. I teach my hungry babies to look for beetles, grubs, and mice. They're actually very cute, but you don't want to get sprayed. I am a bird. I fly gracefully beneath the cold blue waters of the ocean. But when I'm on land, I waddle like a very clumsy duck. What am I? A penguin. When it said fly, it had what we call quotation marks around it. Remember, that's like if someone's talking. But you can also use those quotation marks if you're using a word in a different way. Because penguins don't really fly, but he said they fly beneath the water. I can swim for days in icy water looking for fish, shrimp, and squid. I take turns with my mate minding our young chicks in the rocky rickery. Can you waddle like a penguin? I flit and flutter flower to flower in search of sweet nectar. Although my wings look like tissue paper, they are strong enough to fly miles and miles. What am I? A butterfly. I am an African mocker swallowtail. I once was a fat caterpillar munching on crisp green leaves. After a long sleep in my chrysalis, I became a butterfly. Have you ever seen a black and white butterfly? I haven't. It sure looks beautiful though. And then the last page just gives us more facts about all of these animals. So what did you guys think? Did you know all the riddles before I said the answer? I really liked this book because it's fun to read and it still gives you a lot of great information. So it was a nonfiction book, but it was riddles and it had illustrations. Pretty interesting. So what I would like for you to do today is can you try to write your own riddle? about um, your animal or your insect, or you could do some other ones for fun. But do you know how? You can do it. You just give a couple clues and then say, what am I? You could even try to trick me. If you write one, which you should, put it up on your dojo portfolio and I'll try to guess the animal or insect, okay? Okay guys, we're gonna keep moving on. So I will see you for your, whoop, sorry, hiccups. I will see you for your next activity.